Oh, I, I think it's critical. We're, uh, we've been uh, no-till uh, completely since the early uh, 90s, very early 90s, and uh, it, it's really an important part of the way we farm our farm. The, the tile just improves the productivity overall, uh, improves your ability to get it planted on time and planted right. Um, there's no substitute. Yeah, we uh, more often than you would think get into trouble with the laser with the wind, a uh, uh, little vibration on the tripod and uh, kind of wiggles the uh, wiggles the plow a little bit, or uh, we'll put the laser out of level and you'll lose it and have to wait on it to re-level that kind of thing. Yeah, with our old uh, wheel machines and our plows, and everything, we've we've had trouble with almost every mass that we've had, except for. Uh, one gold digger mask we got right now is working pretty good, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, we've, we've had uh, uh, a lot of trouble over the years, especially when it gets cold and uh, they just don't seem to want to work quite right. Yeah, I'd say, depending on the field, it's, it's, a, it's a number of times per day kind of thing. Uh, um, maybe 10, 15 times a day. It wouldn't surprise me if we, uh, you know, usually we'll have somebody uh, on an ATV or something that's running around flagging stuff out and working on connections and it'll be their job to run over and raise or lower the laser all day long. So yeah, it's, it's an issue. <laughs> oh, definitely. I mean, definitely it's it's, it's nice when you're in a nice flat field and you're a constant grade all the way across, but it doesn't happen very often. More times than not, we're, we're going up into hills and then uh, plateauing off on the tops of the hills, that kind of thing. And uh, so the ability to, to work your way up that hill at a steep grade and then go back to the, to the proper grade you want to maintain depth across the top, that kind of thing would be a, a huge benefit to us. We've had uh, GPS equipment of one sort or another for uh, uh, geez, probably 18 years, uh, some of the first GPS we started working with. And, and the stuff that's out there now is a lot better, but um, it, it is a problem. Tree lines and even just the time of day and the satellite geometry and things, they get uh, poor and, and your accuracy goes down. Um, certainly for me to rely on, on something, um, even with the RTK, the high accuracy GPS that we're using now, another way to back that up and, and make that work when you got around those trees and things I think would be critical if I was going to rely solely on that system. We uh, actually have had uh, some discussions just recently on some systems that we were putting in and, and did some spreadsheets on the uh, effect on tile size of you know the different uh, grades and things and and when you get into some longer tile runs and things like that uh, we get when we're trying to do it manually you end up with some sections that are flatter than what they would need to be and that kind of thing and that's even you know when we know even if I've done topos and layouts and things ahead of time you still get into those situations where you're grade breaking and get some some sections that are only a tenth and maybe you could optimize them to two or three tenths if you had the ability of something in the cab to do that with. and So yeah, you're going to get more flow out of the tile, you're going to get a better install at a more consistent depth. I think that would be terrific. I quite honestly didn't see a lot of difference uh, in the way the plow reacted and ran um, on, on the GPS control versus the laser which is, in my opinion, a good thing because we were very pleased with the way this plow works on the laser and, and responds smoothly and accurately. Um, you know, you do have, when we were doing the comparisons, it was a nice day and so we weren't having a lot of wind issues and things, but uh, the, the GPS control was every bit as good as the laser control um, and I would say in adverse conditions would have been better. overall really pleased with it uh, very intuitive and easy to operate uh, you know just put it in the cab with uh, very little instruction we're able to do grade breaks and uh, really everything just uh, worked really slick